Hey everyone, and welcome to another Indie Bin. This is Discourse. Uh, yeah. Let's see what this is about. Oh, it won't let me select things. Alright. Uh, why are you doing this, game? Okay, fix that. Sorry. Let's, uh, let's give Discourse a shot. I'm not sure what is how. Ooh. So, mini bo bonus story or the main story. Yeah, let's try this. Rita female 1990 so you're younger than me locally sourced <laughs> not quite venti what does this mean uh, barista and artist okay so I already am not the biggest fan of this uh, I, I'm not the biggest fan of this the writing so far uh, yeah, let's see. New game. Enjoy your trip. Headphones recommended. They are on, or else I wouldn't be able to record. So, cool. Move. Action. The paths you forge are your own. Choose wisely. Bon voyage, huh? Oh, and goodbye to our flight. Oh, that's an interesting... It's almost like paper cutout stuff. Ugh, my brain feels like I went through a coffee grinder. Those have like, been laying out here for hours. That's all the crap on the beach. Wait, a plane crash? What I was- oh no. Alright, stay calm, Rita. Animation is... interesting. Hey, it's a good thing I wasn't in that seat. Maybe you were. Oh, that's my seat. Good old 21C. I wonder if things would have gone differently if I was in a window seat. We'll take this shovel. The heck is a frying pan doing on a plane? Closing in on us. Huh? What the heck is that? So this is... I should go check out the noise. I... Uh, not yet. Let's let's look around see if we can find anything else to pick up. Uh, I can't believe this is real. Can we pick up this glass? No, I was hoping we could like pick it up as a weapon. Alright, that's, that's everything. So, we have a frying pan as a weapon, I'm guessing. Yeah, go investigate. I like the paper craft look to it. They're crabs, my dude. They're calling for backup. We're totally surrounded. Make sure you aim for their eyes. They'll scrub the chips in their brains. What? It doesn't even matter. We're done for. Steve, somebody else is approaching. They're probably here to feast on us, just like these crabs. What? Are you talking about me? You're totally clueless, aren't you, Teddy? Hey, lady, it might be a good time to help us. Uh, they're just crabs. Uh, we do it ourselves, we're afraid to make any sudden movements. Besides, all I have on me is a stupid stapler from my office. I got a trusty metal detector on me, but they will definitely attack if I pull it out. Just get over here and help me. What? No, come here. I was gonna try to put this frying, the frying pan to good use. Alright, so he's got a stapler, he's got a metal detector. Metal detector? Useful. Um... Scare crabs away. Well, you actually scared them away. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I thought they killed him, but no, they just snipped up his legs. Ouch, man, those crabs are relentless. Legs are all torn up. It's been a fantastic day. Okay, well, let's get back to camp. The others will want to meet. There, I didn't catch your name. It's Rita. Wait, there are other survivors? Yeah, they're further inland. I'm Steve, by the way. My name's Teddy. Alright, let's get going. Alright, um, I'm gonna collect stuff really quickly. Well, this is metal of wreckage from all over the beach. Kinda glad I can't remember the crash. Must have been terrible. Nothing else around here? Okay. Are you gonna head to camp? Yeah, let's go. Nobody, like, collected my body, at least. Don't you think a little risky to take this stranger back? Well, she's just a bunch of crabs in a human suit. Oh my god, I'm so... I've been playing so many games with paranoid characters in them. You were only a child. You were an only child, weren't you, Teddy? No, my brother was human. I think we'll be fine. Let's go, Rita. Yeah, like, they, they were there long enough to set up a camp, but they didn't, like... Hey, there's a body over here. We should probably check. Look, another survivor. What? I thought we were the only ones. Heavens to Betsy, come have a seat. 
You must have been out for hours. Are you alright? Uh, well, what do you think? This is a crash. Do you think I'm alright? Hey now, isn't that crash too, honey? We're all pretty shook up. What's your name? Rita. I'm Jolene. Jolene Cujo? Uh, the lump over there with the mustache? That's my husband, George. Hi. <laughs> Online, I know him by Nebulord90, but you can call me Garrett. All he's done... Uh, all he's been doing is playing stupid games, or uh, playing games on a stupid handheld video game machine. Hey, where are we? None of us are really sure. All we know is we're on an island. That is pretty big. We have no clue what kind of stuff could be on the other side. There's a mountain off in the distance, but it's a long hike away. We have no idea what's over there. Started making the best of the situation here. We got this fire, and we started some shelter. That's so all we've got for food is a pile of pretzels from off the plane. And never mind, you don't. There's a boar. I took them. Jeez Louise, sweet cream cheese. Oh no, those pretzels are our only food. Oh darn. Those were going to be such a well balanced meal for us. Look, there's more of those pig monsters out there. Rita, you come with George and me. Let's get this boar. Mm, I don't think that's the best idea. It's not like we have weapons to hunt them. Well, George has his old fishing pole. We can thwap him with that. I suppose you're going to throw your that bulky camera of yours at them. Well, I'll do what needs to be done. You need to stay here and defend the few resources that we have left. Come along, Georgie. We don't have time for this, and I don't trust these hoodlums. Rita, you ready to lo look to go? Uh, yeah, sure, let's go. Let's go, it's bacon-making time. Yeehaw, that a girl. Alright, hold on a second, you're just going to leave the three of us alone? Don't worry, you'll be fine. Don't worry, Garrett. You still have half the group left. You guys will be fine. What are we supposed to do if something attacks us here? Uh, here's Brave as a bar soap. Oh, jeez. There's so much dialogue in this. Um, Defend the camp at all costs. You'll work together. You'll have no problem defending the camp. Yeah, right. Like, it's that easy. Not without a healer in a party. Oh, my God. Shut up. I'm sure you'll manage. We'll be back before you know it anyway. Where's your Rita? Let's get moving. So, I, I figured that splitting the group in half would be better than two people going to fight a fucking boar. There it is. You need to be careful or run away again. Maybe I can stun it with my camera flash? I trust a fishing pole. Too bad it broke in the crash. I might be able to hit it with it. Alright, so what's the plan? Hang on, I'm thinking. Flash the camera? Flash the boar with your camera. Maybe you'll stun it. Flash the camera when it's looking away isn't a good idea. You're probably right. Good call, this is a bad idea. Throw the frying pan. I'll throw the frying pan at it. Are you sure that's a good idea? Can you really throw this far? I think I can do it. It's not that far. Don't worry about it, I got this. What? Whoa. Oh man, what was that? Really think we're gonna hit the boar from, from here with a frying pan? Just is not as strong as I thought, whoops. It's getting late. I think the hunt is a lost cause at this point. Uh, let's just get ourselves back to camp. Maybe there's a lot better news. Well, let me pick up the frying pan first. Well, okay. It wasn't stupid to throw it, because I thought it would get it to... More wrecked from the plane... I, I thought that it would make it turn towards me so that she could flash it, and then we would kill it. I... Whatever. Finally, you guys shouldn't have left us. What happened? We see what died here. Um, yeah, it's definitely more than just that one boar. Oh, y'all just belly bellyaching. What happened? More boars shut up. We needed everyone here. You shouldn't have listened to Jolene. We needed to stay here, Rita. It's like they have a hive mind. It's all big, part of a bigger plan. First boar is just a distraction, so the others could feast upon our flesh. Oh man, you sound like, like Jude from Hives, Hive Swap. I almost said Hive Stuck. We, we tried to defend the camp like you said, and... Gare got slashed up pretty bad. You told us to do this, Rita. Could, we could have all been killed. You could have done more if my legs weren't all cut up from those crabs. What do you want me to do? Swing Teddy around my head and beat the boars away? Well, this doesn't look like you guys brought anything back. It's my fault. I'm sorry, everyone. We lost this boar because of me. Doesn't matter whose fault it was, you all failed. Or, we all failed. Uh... Let's just get some rest. 
Look, let's leave this be. Tonight, we focus on resting and preparing for tomorrow. Because they're not much choice. This isn't good. This is not good at all. We need to protect those pretzels. We shouldn't just leave them out in the open. There. That should help. Anyway, set up a bit of shelter early this morning. Grab a torch and we'll show you the shelter we made. Okay, torch acquired. Why am I suddenly the leader of this group, though? Oh. Wait, we walked past this earlier? Wow, you guys actually put together a pretty decent shelter, all things considered. I guess this is our home for now. Until we get rescued. Torch won't last forever, but it should have enough time to talk to a few people. Hey, you, uh, dying? Bet you've never been in an adventure like this before. Virtually out of these pretty advanced these days. Though it does not, it doesn't hold the torch these past hours. Can't exactly emulate starvation or dying. We're probably going to die out here. Our extra lives to save games and help us out. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Yeah, you might be right. If only there are life for cheat codes we could use. Man, it sure was crazy fighting off those boars. Those things are definitely not to be messed with. Normally, boars are one of the easiest enemies in games. Oh my gosh, it's like an actual first level warrior. Yeah, I bet it was an intense when they invaded. We maybe could have put up a fight if we'd all been here. Thought what Jolene and I were doing were more useful. This adventure is hard, that's for sure. Well, time to re regenerate my hit points. Good night. Hey, so... Finding out the beach was a surprise. We are pretty lucky you were there, I guess. Yeah, that was oddly disorienting to wake up to. Yeah, Teddy was looking for some supplies on the beach. We found that all we found was a horde of crabs. Uh, it made me. Yeah, you may have been better off without this group. We don't bring a whole lot to the table. Group beats being alone. Better off with a group than by myself, even if we're not exactly a bunch of survivalists. Not sure how far my BFA and barista skills will get me out here. If I hadn't met up with you guys, I might not have even made it this far. Groups have never paid off in my experience. Come on now. The world isn't all that bad. It isn't all that good either. Well, let's get some rest. Torch won't last much longer. I can probably sneak in one more chat. Hey, buddy. I like you. I'm ready for a good night of sleep. Yeah, let's we'll see how sleeping on the sand goes. Suppose we can't be too picky. Why don't you and Jolene sleep next to each other? You two are married, aren't you? Well, Jolene has been complaining about my snoring recently, which is odd because it never used to bother her. Sorry, I guess that's not my business. Oh, no, it's fine. Man, I sure wish we could have gotten that boar. Yeah, it was a little harder than expected. What do you expect? I think it's as big as you are. Yeah, I'm glad we we're able to. I'm glad we we're able to do it. Reminds me of wrestling back in my uh, wrestling my cousin back on the farm. I was younger than all of them. Didn't stop me from putting up a fight though. Did you ever win? Once in a blue moon. Now that I think about it though, they would probably let me win so I wouldn't quit. Torch too low. Time for me to get some sleep. Okay. Doesn't look very comfortable, but I guess it'll have to serve for the night. Might as well try to get some shut eye. So this is interesting. It's purely text. Uh, I guess that's why it's called Discourse, and it's like a, it's also spelled like a course of action. So yeah, that's, um, that's Discourse. I'm not going to go much farther because I'm thinking, I think I might actually play this game. So yeah, uh, this is a few bucks on Steam, I think like 10, I think it was. Uh, you should give it a shot. Anyway, have a nice night, everybody. I'll see you.